Shaira Mungu amiujiza tuna kuabudu There are people who fear the Lord men who love the truth people who are capable Moses akichagua leaders au ndio aliendea when he was searching for leaders aliendea au watu and so those are the people he was to send to spy the land look at this when they were sent to spy the land, numbers 13 plus 1, all right, 20, and it was 26, sababu, tutasoma yote. And when these people went to spy the land, remember these people were the men who feared God. Men who knew, walikuwa na jua neno, they feared, they had the truth. They were capable men, but look at those leaders. Among those leaders, when they, they came to Moses, and to Aaron, and to all the congregation of the children of Israel, and to wilderness of Paran, to Kadesh and brought back word unto them, unto the congregation, and showed them the fruit. Okay, continue. And they told him and said, We came unto the land whither thou sentest us, and surely it floweth with milk and honey, and this is the fruit of it. Okay. Nevertheless, these men who feared the Lord, while you go them, they had the truth. Well, in Kua, and if they were the leaders, this was the report they were coming with. When we went there, the people were strong in the land, and the cities are wild, and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. Continue. And the Amalekites dwell in the land of the Shaul, and the Hittites, and the Jebusites, and the Amorites dwell in the mountains. Continue. And, okay. All right, all right, you make it And the Hittites and the Jebusites and the Amorites dwell in the mountains, and the Canaanites dwell in the sea by the coast of Jordan. And Caleb steal the people before Moses and say, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are able men to overcome. Before we go to Caleb, the first report that came was the report that Kunamachitu. The report that came, had to the end of the before. It is not the right place for us. These men, they came with a bad report. You all know that story, but one thing you did not know, that these men were the leaders who had been chosen. Well, you know what you are going to do, you are going to do, you are going to do, you But these leaders, who are supposed to come with a good report, they came with a bad report. These people are supposed to give hope to the Israelites. They came with a report to break the people. They were been sent 12 of them. But among us, the 12, Caleb stood up. And Caleb, before we go to Caleb, when you are looking at the, the wrong information, what will you answer to the Wakaza kupika makila, wakaza kuwapia musa, sisi huko, hatu taenda. People that day, they didn't even sleep. They wailed because of the bad report that they had. And when Caleb saw that, Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, let us go up there at once and possess it, for we are able to overcome it. There was someone, there were people who are different. Among more of them that had the word of God, among more of them that feared the Lord, there were people who are different. And this year, Reverend Irene was told by God, gather for me people, select for me people, people who love prayer, People who love the word of God. What you know about that church of They are going to know this year. But among us, as of all, to Tamaliza to cure Sarah, Amma to Tamaliza to cure, there were sent 12 of them. Only two came with the back, came back with a good report. I want you to then go in the air. To all the above, you can All right, continue. But the men that went up with him said, we be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. Remember who are talking about you? And they brought up an evil report of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it is the land that eaten up inhabitants. In the same way, we are going to go to the land. They are of and all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. Continue. And here we saw the giants, the son of Anak, 
We saw of the giant and we were in, the, in our own sight as grasshoppers. So we were in their sight. But in their sights. I continue. Sijuwa lituwa juwa naonda. Hivyo, I'm going to be waiting for you. I am that is for you. Okay, all right. Okay, let's continue to the next chapter. All right, 14. And the congregation lifted up their voice and cried. And the people wept that night. The leaders who are supposed to bring the good news to them. They made the people sleep, cry. And the people wept that night. Continue. And all the children of Israel, and all the children of Israel, Mama against Moses and against Aaron, and the whole congregation said unto them, would God that we had died in the land of Egypt, or would God we had died in the wilderness? Continue. And whereof had the Lord brought us into this land to fall by the sword, that our wives and our children should be a prey? Were it not better for us to return to Egypt? But go to verse 6. And as people were complaining, broken hearted, when the leaders were supposed to bring hope to them, Joshua the son of Nun, and Caleb the son of Jephuma, Jephuna, which were of them that sat the land, rent their clothes. And they spake unto all the company of the children of Israel, saying, The land which we pass through this, true to search it, is an exceeding good land. And the Lord delight in us that he will bring us into this land and give it to us, that which floweth with milk and honey. Amen. Only rebel not, ye against the Lord, neither ye fear, ye the people of the land. For they, for they are bread unto us. Their defense is departed from us. Them, from them. And the Lord is with us. Fear them not. Continue. But all the congregation bent stone with them, with stones. And the glory of the Lord appeared in the tabernacle of the congregation before all the children of Israel. What happened for the glory of the Lord to appear there? Good reports. Good report followed the glory of the Lord appearing in the amidst the congregation. As a leader, because we are all leaders in your family, wherever you are, our good report is the one which is going to make us the glory of the Lord to carry us this whole year. The bad report made people to say that we are not going to go where the Lord had said we are going to go. The bad report made but we, as the agents of good reports, we are going to bring down the glory of the Lord in our families, in our cities. The good reports. Hallelujah. There were 12 leaders. Remember, there were men who feared the Lord. Remember, there were men who loved the truth. Remember, there were men who were capable leaders. But 10 among us, the truth, the two among us, the 12, came back with a good report. We will see why. Let us go to the New Testament. The disciples. There's a time when there was so much work for them to share the word of God. And there was also work to serve the tables. And they said, let us go search Acts 6, 2 to 4. Let us select people who are going to serve the tables. Tutafute wa tutuachamwe. Acts 6, 2 to 4. Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them and said, It is not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve the Hebrews, right? Continue. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among the seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom. Who we may appoint even this business. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. Go to verse 8. There were seven men who were full of the Holy Spirit, men full of wisdom. But among us, the seven, 
the first person is Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. The whole of chapter 6 and chapter 7 speaks of this man until he was killed. And then 8 verse 5, chapter 8 verse 5, we see another man, Philip. And Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. This was where after Stephen was taught to death. I am going to verse 39 and 40. And when they were come unto, out of water, the Spirit of the Lord caught away Philip, that the eunuch saw him no more, and he went on his way rejoicing. But Philip was found at Azotas, and passing through, he preached in all the cities till he came to Gaiseria. And the chapter closes there. There were seven men full of the Holy Spirit, men speaking in tongues, full of wisdom, who are being selected in the whole group. But among them all, when Stephen was being, when Stephen was being stoned, they retreated. When there were challenges, they retreated. But Philip, Stephen, these two, they are the one who stood out out of seven. In the Old Testament, twelve were selected to stood out. In the New Testament, seven were selected to stood out. Why? When God was calling the next person, he told them, he told and you will see why among all these groups that only two, only a few are standing out. Go to Joshua chapter 1. Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses, minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now thereof, therefore arise, go over this Jordan down, and all these people unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses, from the wilderness and this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river of Euphrates, the land of Hittites, and to the great sea toward way down of the sun shall be your coast. There shall be no any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. I want you to read this verse. This song is good. Amen. Be strong and of good courage. Verse 7. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper with the soever thou goest. Verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Verse 9. Let us read together. Have I not commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, with the soever. Thou goest. Be strong and of good courage. Be strong and of good courage. This year, all that the Lord is looking for strong men. This year, all that the Lord is looking for courageous men. You know, when Moses sent the spies, they came terrified. They were afraid. But these two men, Caleb and Joshua, when these people are giving bad reports, they stood with courageously and they said, We are going to conquer that land. We are going there at once. In the New Testament, when these seven were selected, Philip and Stephen, it is courage 
that made Philip and Stephen stand out. When this other had that people have been stoned, they retreated. But Philip and Stephen, he was courageous to stand for the word of God. He was courageous to stand for the gospel. He was courageous. No, we have the gospel today because we are courageous men. To bring this gospel to us up today. And the Lord said to Joshua, you know he saw that these other men, they were strong. They feared me. They had the, they feared the, the word. They had the word. But they learned one thing, courage. And God, when he was talking to Joshua, he added something to him. He knew that if I add courage to you, courageous men never, never defeated. Courageous men never retreat. Courageous men fight to the end. He knew if I add courage to you, you are going to fight for me. If I add courage to you, you are going to take my children where I want them to be. Be strong and very courageous. Be strong and very courageous. Be strong and very courageous. When your angels come, we are going to stand with the word of God this year. We are not going to retreat. You know there are evil men. Today they are planning how they are going to destroy us. But strong men, courageous men, we are going to defend the gospel of the Lord. We are going to stand for the word to the end. In the name of Jesus. I want to show you something today. First Samuel 17. Now the Philistines gathered together their army to battle. I'm talking about David here. You all know the story of David and Goliath. To the battle, and we and were gathered together to Shako, which belonged to Judah, and pitched between Shako and Azekah, the Ephes Damin. And Saul and the men of Israel were gathered together and pitched by the valley of Elah, and set the battle in array against the Philistines. And the Philistines stood on the mountain on the side, and Israel stood on the mountain on the other side, and there were a valley between them. And there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines, named Goliath of God, whose the height was six cubits and span, and had a helmet of brass, what was 10, 9, 19. Nine. If he be able to fight with me and kill me, this was Saul speaking, will be your servants. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then shall he be our servants and say and serve us. Verse 10. And the Philistines did say, I defy the armies of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. Verse 11. When Saul and Israel, all Israel had these words of the Philistines, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. Now David, the son of that Ephraimite, the Bethlehem, the Bethlehem Judah, whose name was Jesse, he had eight sons, and the men who went among men for an old in the days of Saul. And three other sons of Jesse went and followed Saul to the battle. And the names of his sons that went to the battle were Eliab, the firstborn, the next to him, Abinadam, and then the third Shama, and the youngest was David. He followed there, and David was the youngest, and the three eldest followed Saul. All right. Right. To read the Makidogo, verse 11. And when Saul and all Israel heard these words of Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. When it was clear, who you cheat to, and have your own care. And it was clear who you cheat to, and have your watisha. They were afraid and greatly dismayed. Joshua 1 9 will continue there. This was the command. Have I not commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. But what did they do? When the giant spoke, they were dismayed and 
breaking your friends. Yes, the Israelites. Alright, go back to verse. First of all, verse. First of all, 7, 28 to Apostles 23. And his return was to Ramah, for there was his house, and there he judged Israel. No, 17. Seventeen. All right. Seventeen. Eleven. All right. Okay. Continue. They were greatly dismayed and afraid. All right, continue. Now David was the son of the Ephraimite. Okay, continue. 13, 14, to say And David was the youngest. Okay, continue. All right. But David went and returned to, from Saul to feed his father's sheep to Bethlehem. Continue. And Jesse said to David, now his father was telling David, go take food to your brothers, whom he knew they were fighting. Continue. And carrying I am next, those are the food that was supposed to take. Now Saul, now Saul and they and all that the men of Israel were in the valley of Elah fighting with the Philistines. And David was up early in the morning and left the sheep. This was when he was uh, taking the bread and he had Makelele, what you are to Ghana, continue. Verse that, verse. Yeah, for Israel and Philistines had put the battle in a ray army against Abi, right? And David left his carriage in the land, heard of the keeper of the carriage, and ran to the army and came and saluted his brethren. As he talked with them, behold, there came a champion, the Philistine of God, Goliath by name, out of armies of Philistines, and he spake according to the same words, and David had them. And all the men of Israel, when they saw the man fled from him, they were so afraid. And the men of Israel said, Have ye seen this man that is come up? Surely, I defy Israel, is he come up? And it shall be that the man who killeth him, the king will enrich him with great riches and will give his daughters and make his father house free in Israel. And David spake to the men that stood by him, saying, what shall be done to the man that killed this Philistine and make it away the reproach from Israel? For who is this that circumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? Continue. And the people answered him after this man, saying, So shall it be done to the man that killed him. And Eliab, the eldest brother, heard when he spake unto the men, and the Eliab's anger was kindled. Against David and said, Why comest thou down hither? With whom hast thou left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know thy pride and the naughtiness of thine hair, for thou art come down that thou mightest see the battle. Those are called <laughs> courage killers. David and Jacob had courage, but someone here. And the Jacob will be aware of when you are not aware of what you want to know about courage killers. Continue. And David said, What have I now done? Is there not a cause? And he turned from him toward another and spake after the same manner. And the people answered him again after the former manner. Right. And when the words were heard which David spake, then he asked them before Saul and he sent for him. And David said to Saul, Let no man hurt faith because of him, thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Thou art not able to go against this another courage killer, Philistine, to fight with him, for thou art but a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. And David said that to Saul, Thy servant kept his father's. Okay, before we get there. Eliab, David's brother, were in the battlefield. But there's something I want you to know about them. 
When Samuel came to anoint the house of Jesse, Eliab, Abinadab, and the, the other brother, they were all there. And God was looking for someone who is going to lead these people. Eliab, Abinadab, and Kopale, and the brothers, what did they lack? Let's go to Samuel. When Samuel came to anoint, to look for a man in the house of Jesse. First Samuel 16, 4 to 6. And Samuel did which more, which he, the Lord spake and came to Bethlehem, and the elders of the town trembled at his coming and said, Come thou peacefully. And he said, Peace be, I am come to sacrifice unto the Lord. Sanctify yourself and come with me to sacrifice. And he sanctified Jesse and his sons and called them to the sacrifice. And it came to pass when they were come that he looked on Eliab and said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on the height. This man, he was tall. He had the stature, but it was not him. Kilikuwa kichitu. This was the perfect person. Mwea ametuwa ni mwangali ya mengia. He used to call them babazu these days. He was a big man. He was tall. He was the right person to lead the army. But Samuel said, this is not the But the Lord said to Samuel, this is not the person. Because the man sees on the outside, but the Lord looked on the heart. The next brother. And Jesse called up Nadam and made him pass before Samuel. And he said, Neither hath the Lord chosen this. And Jesse made Shammah to pass by. And he said, Neither hath the Lord chosen this either. No, I can never hear you. Again, Jesse made the seven sons to pass before Samuel. Said unto Jesse, The Lord has not chosen this. Continue up to where we are going to find the youngest. Verse 11. Okay, and someone said unto Jesse, I hear that all the children, and they say, There remaineth yet the youngest. And behold, he keepeth the sheep. And someone said unto Jesse, Send and, and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he come hither. And he sent and brought him in now. He was rude, and with all of beautiful countenance. And goodly to look to. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint me for this in sea. I just put after another translation in the TLD. Living translation. And Samuel. And so as David stood there among his brothers, Samuel took a flask of olive oil and brought it. No. 11, verse 11. And Samuel asked, are, are these all the sons you have? They are still the youngest. Jesse replied, but he is out in the field watching the sheep and goats. Send for him at once. Samuel said, we will not sit down to eat until he arrives. So Jesse sent for him. He was dark and handsome with beautiful eyes. This is a person who is going to meet the army. Now, <laughs> beautiful, dark, handsome, beautiful beautiful eyes and walls. Then Liliana is looking. This was it. But there was something in David. Eliab had the stature. Eliab had the looks of the he had William to and the Ungeona who you had when you looked at him, he had everything. But David, none of it but his eyes did not even fit for him to go for the battle but the Lord chose him because he knew when Saul, when the God was speaking the Bible says that the Saul and his armies were running away and the Bible says that these brothers were fighting with Saul the strong man with stature, big, and God was a young safari and So he knew if we choose this, 
Israel will have trouble. But I'm going to challenge us and our girls and Pio one day okay, I'm a photo of Mako and Toto Yuma. But this person, David, he didn't have any qualification, but he was courageous. He didn't have any qualification, but courage. Courage. This was why when they were passing, someone like that wouldn't be here. But God knew within him, no courage. You might be here, full of the word, speaking in tongues, but inside you, no courage. You look like, like kids. Speaking in tongues, verse after verse. Preacher can have some of the people who have verse, no name, but it's your body. You look like it, but there's no courage. God is looking for courageous people this year. Let me show you something else. Let me show you something All right. Let's go to 1 Samuel 30, verse 6. Now, the beauty of David was courage. This was a time when Israel had been attacked and no all their things had been taken away. Their wives, their children, and David was greatly distressed for the people spake of stoning him. Because of the soul of the people was grieved, every man for his sons. And for his daughters who are taken captive. And then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voices and wept until they had no more power to weep. And David's two wife, go to verse 6. And David was greatly distressed for the people spake of stoning him because the soul of the people was grieved, every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself. In the Lord. When all things were happening, David was finding his courage. He was encouraging himself, going deep to find where, to find courage. He didn't go to cry. He didn't go to hiding. But he was encouraging himself. His beauty was in his courage. David was the father of Solomon. And before he died, he called his son. He put up a solo. He said, God, I come here, I want to teach you something. <laughs> I want to teach you something. What the Lord taught me personally. My success has not been anything else, but it has been in the courage that I have had. Go to Proverbs 4, 1. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 1 to 4. Hear ye children the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of a mother. He taught me also and said unto me, Let thy heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. Which commandments were these? First Chronicles 28, verse 20. These were the commandments that David was telling Solomon, Keep these commandments. And we live. And David said to Solomon, his son, be strong and of good courage. He didn't tell Solomon, go eat one day. He didn't tell someone to do something else, find a great army. And he told him, be strong and of good courage. And do not fear. Do it. Fear not. No all be dismayed. For the Lord God, even my God, will be with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee, until thou hast finished all the work for the service of the house of the Lord. Amen. This was what made Solomon succeed. David had succeeded. He knew the recipe of his success. 
He knew it was courage. He knew he was being strong. Yes. And when he was dying, he wanted to pass this to his son. He told him, do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. But be strong and of good courage. He didn't give him much, many things of being successful in this life. But he told him, be strong and of good courage. And do not fear, nor be dismayed. For the Lord God, even my God, will be with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee, until thou hast finished all the work of the service of the Lord. If this is what we saw, King David, succeed. Be a change causer. If this is what made Solomon succeed, if this is what made Moses, when you're standing before Pharaoh and tell him, the Lord told me, let my people go, courage, succeed. You see, even in the New Testament, seven were selected, two remained bold, two are ready to die for the gospel. How many of us here, they have the giftings of the Lord? Bishop was here. Where is she? Your sword. 
Two years ago, I got a soul was restoration. The name of our weapon this year is restoration. And the Lord told me tomorrow, if you have something, a land, a contract, a job, your family, something that will be taken and you want it restored, come with that soil here. Come with that picture of that son or daughter of yours. Come with them here. Courageously, we are fighting with the word of the ear. That is our sword. Courageously, we fight with that sword. We are to use the word of the ear. We are to use the word of the ear. We are to use the word of the ear. God gives us sometimes strategies, but they work. Because you told me courage, we will do it courageously here. Yes. Carry that picture. Carry that soil. Carry it. A contract that you know this was supposed to be mine. We are practicing it from here. And after that, this year, when the evil men, they plan against us, we are going to stand for the word of the Lord. Courageously. Courageously. They didn't want to die. Philip stood, stood up. He preached the gospel. Because you are courageous enough. The word of the Lord works. It has results. We are fighting with it this year. It does not matter who giant is standing before you this year. You know the devil tried to play tricks. This year he wanted. He tried to play tricks on me. I still did not pray because I was in hospital. And he told him, this year, I'm restoring you in the days I did not pray last year. I've been in church, I'm sleeping here two days in a week. I told him, he tried to this week. But I told him, no, not this year. Courageously, I'm using the word of the Lord this year. Courageously. He's not going to play tricks with me. He's not going to play tricks with us. He's not going to play tricks with the church. In this Yeah. 
Jesus. Yeah. 